great way to use AirDrop in the classroom is when you want to get students to a website quickly. Let's go to Safari and perhaps we want to share this website with our students about the apps that they shouldn't install on their iPads. And so if we wanted to share this web address very quickly, when we tap on the URL of this website we can see it really isn't that complicated. It's pretty short. But yet, if we were waiting for our students to type this in, it would take some time. What we can do to send this website out quickly to our students is tap on the share icon, that square with an arrow coming out of it, next to the URL bar. When we do that, the airdrop area of the sharing panel is going to automatically populate with iPads that are in close vicinity to us, about 30 to 40 feet. So we can click on our students' iPad names. And we could just go down the row of those if you had an entire class tapping those. You can see that was quickly sent out to the student. So no more confusing, long, complex URLs. The students are trying to type or decipher is it a 1 or an L or an I. Um, sharing the URL through AirDrop makes it quick and easy to get the students to the websites that you want them to be at. When you AirDrop a website address to the student, they'll see a pop-up box appear on their screen. The pop-up box will show the name of the iPad that is sending the website address to them as well as what sort of file it is it. In this case, it's a website address. When the student clicks on Accept, it will automatically open up that website in Safari. And so again, a very quick and easy way to get students to the websites where you want them to be.